Hey, what's up guys? It's Sick, and I want to bring you a little update to MQ2 Monk. So, um, I already updated to the forums with some of this uh, information to the overview page, but I figured I'd do a quick video, uh, since we're probably pretty close to releasing this bad boy. That's all up to chat on when he's gonna make this available for purchase, uh, but as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's pretty damn close. So, while we have some tank abilities that are gonna be used with Monk, like the Death Line, Earth, Step, and Counter Disc, MQ2 Monk is designed around doing DPS stuff and pulling and other Monk stuff. They're not really focused on doing tanks. It has the stuff in there, but if you think that this guy is going to go and uh, tank TBL uh, and not be raid geared and stuff, you're, you know, you're going to have a bad time. Anyhow, so uh, let's hop into it. So I already articulated this uh, a little bit before, but... Um, the burn routine utili utilizes the four tier burns. We have the heal with Daiko, IOT, and Spire. Speed with Daiko, IOT, Spire, Tan Pose. If Tan Pose is down, it'll use focused, uh, destructive, or just destructive, depending on how your AoE uh, is set. And poise. Uh, third tier burn is Terra Palm with Daiko, IOT, Spire, focused, or regular destructive. Tan Pose if focused, destructive is down. And poise. And then fourth tier burn is Iron Fist and Crane. So that's a pretty standard four-tier monk burn. Um, it's pretty good logic in there to handle that. Um, it'll even stop your... If you go into uh, a mob or you meet your burn condition, it's a named, you have burn always named on, um, and you're using not a good disc, just a shit or filler disc. It'll actually cancel the disc, fire your new one, and then uh, you know, you'll know you go on, a, on the way about your burns. So feign death. Uh, right now, you can toggle on uh, slash monk use feign death on to toggle... So you can feign death or not. Currently it's designed to only use feign death if you are in manual assist, chase assist, or puller assist mode. Puller assist mode might be new to some folks. It's uh, it's monk mode six, um, and that's what my monk's doing right now. He's in he's in puller mode, so he's gonna go find himself some mobs and bring it on back to camp. Um, mend uh, mend is defaulted to fire at 80, but we do have the ability to do this. We can do uh, monk mend at 75 and change it to uh, mending at 75. Please excuse the clicky dog pause. Um, Swift Tails is set to be used at 60 mana of endurance. Uh, it'll check our group for that and then fire that. Uh, we'll use our breath slides at 40% endurance and out of combat. Um, puller mode. Currently, we're using level 83 Vigor Shuriken to pull. This will be updated in the future to use dis uh, Distant Strike if we have it. Um, otherwise, it will. Uh, if you're below level 83, you don't have Vigorous Shuriken, it'll look to see if you have a ranged item uh, equipped with ammo, and if you don't, then it's just going to go up and punch the mob and bring it back. Um, so right now it's using Shuriken. It will use Distant Strike in the future. Uh, it just needs a little update to get that to happen. Um, Intimidate. This is the same as the other chat with this name, Plugins. You can slash Monk use Intimidate and toggle this on or off. Um... And it's set so it'll only use it if it's rank 2 or above, so it doesn't fear your mobs away and cause you a bunch of headache. Kicks and Claws. As of right now, it's hard-coded to use Flying Kick if you're over level 30, Round Kick if you uh, are, are 5 to 29, and Regular Kick if you are 1 to 4. And then Tiger Claw if you're above level 10. Um, if there's enough request for it, in the future we can add the ability to be able to specify which kick, uh, which claw punch whatever thing you want to use but in the meantime it's just it's hard coded for these so i already went over the fists of steel bando swap thing in the last video uh, and it's been brought to my attention that um due to um adps uh, from other classes and uh just the way that the game mechanics work it may not be even worth your time trying to proc it however it's in here should they ever decide to fix it and i tested it you can actually proc Fist of Fury using your two-handed weapon, just melee attacking, no combat abilities whatsoever, you can get it to proc. So, the thing's broken, um, but if they ever fix it, this functionality will be in there, which is pretty awesome. Um, so we kind of future-proofed future -proofed this for when Daybreak decides to fix their game. So, uh, mash buttons, we're going to always use these abilities when they're available. We're going to Xanfees, Intimidate, Disarm, Two-Finger Wasp, Kick Claw Punch... Um, FK Synergy, which is the Flying Kick Synergy, Curse Line, Drunk, Fang, Fist, Precision, and Shuriken. We're going to use those all the time. We're mashing the shit out of those, and um, 
That's where we're getting DPS. We do have the abilities uh, added into the back end for, you know, the echo line, you know, their, their mezes, their split pulling stun stuff, but we currently don't have any of that added in here um, uh, as far as the routines go. But the, um, but the abilities are in there should we ever decide to go back and do that, it, you know, we're kind of trying to future future proof what possible updates we may do in the future. And then distant Daiko line, uh, we're using the same similar tiered logic line for which Daiko or dissident to use. Um, the same as Berserker or Rogue or any of these other classes have where it's going to check, hey, do I have, if you know, if I have rank six of this and I don't have rank one of this, I'm going to use the older version because it's a better version. Um, monks uh, are very much the same way as Berserkers where you might get your level one dissident but you didn't actually get the ability and you have to go back to the Virtuous Dusk and say, Reminder, he is in Stratos. Um, you can check this by looking in your book to see if you have Dissident Form Trigger 1. Um, if you don't have Dissident Form Trigger 1, it's going to revert and use your Daiko. Um, now, I added some stuff uh, with some help from chat yesterday. We were working on the uh, Purify Body line. This is really exciting. I already had in here so we can cure poison, cure disease, corruption, and curse. Uh, but I wanted to add some other stuff. So it'll cure blindness now. It'll cure if you are slowed. It'll cure if you are rooted. And um, I wanted to give special attention to if you are snared. Particularly because a lot of people use monks for pullers. And there's nothing more frustrating than if you get snared by some stupid spider mom throwing webs at your feet. Um, when you're pulling and now you died because you're snared. But uh, we have Purify Body. So if we get snared, it's going to use Purify Body. Unless we're in combat. Okay? Now the other stuff, it'll cure in combat, right? So if we get some other detrimental on us, it'll, it'll cure us in combat. If we get snared while we're in combat, um, it's not gonna it's not gonna use the uh, use the purify body because we, we want to save that the spiders and elsenium however you say that zone name um, their snare only lasts for 30 seconds so if you're fighting one and you get snared while in combat you don't want it to use purify body which is a four minute cure uh, excuse me a four minute reuse time so uh, we'll have it wait until combat's over and if combat's over and we still have it and we're gonna go pull we'll use it otherwise it'll it'll save it to where you know, or out of combat or or doing something else um, it, it's actually checking it on pulse so uh, if if we pull and we get snared while we're pulling it'll use it instantly which is pretty amazing um, so as you can see I've had this monk in uh, pull mode uh, for this whole video and you see he's just pulling uh, we added some cool functionality yesterday where uh, pull mode would just return back to the camp and then wait and he waits for the assist number. But if you look now, and I'll show you uh, with this pull. So we tagged that guy with the shuriken. Uh, we turned around. We're coming back. Once we get to camp, we're going to immediately turn and face the mob. And um, that was just consideration for, let's say, somehow it gets to camp before my tank gets there. Is it going to punch me in the back? And, uh, you know, then I can't block or, or parry or repost or whatever. So that's actually an update for all of the, uh, all of the chat with this name plugins. So if we're in puller mode, we're going to get back to camp. We're going to turn and face the guy. So if he comes and try to punch us in the face, we'll be ready for him. Uh, what else we got in here? I think that's it. That's the stuff we added yesterday, which is pretty awesome. Um, I added the Mendat thing today. Somebody requested that. Who was that? That was uh, Anthelia asked if uh, we could specify what mend level. Um, so I added that this afternoon. And that's where we're at. So this is where we're at with MQ2 Monk. Uh, if this is something that's interesting to you, please feel free to go ahead and send chat with this name a message and say, hey chat, I really would like to play the monk, man. Can you please, please make it available, please? Uh, and uh, maybe if he's feeling generous, he will put it up for purchase. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the monk. See ya.